hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on ansible so as part of our ansible tutorial series for beginners uh, we have done a lot of uh, tutorials on ansible uh, setting up ansible playbooks the basic commands and everything and uh, we also seen the tutorial on using ansible as a you know create docker containers and also like uh, variables in ansible in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to talk more about ansible debug module and also we'll be able to see like how to register variables uh, like you know you can take some output of the existing command and save it as a you know the result of that uh, play in the you know, playbook to be stored as a variable so we'll see that okay so let's talk about ansible debug module first so the debug module uh, usually we use it for printing some statement during the our playbook right so what happens when we run a playbook it it runs on the machine right but we don't see what actually the output is on the playbook so what we can use we can use debug module and which is useful like you know uh, for debugging variables or expression and without necessarily halting the playbook so that you know when you run the play uh, this debug module will uh, show us some statement on the screen but it will not halt the playbook itself and you know it's very uh, useful to debug modules in a lot of cases when we use uh, when statement so we can use the output of uh, you know in that uh, debug uh, statements you can use it in the when when statements and all those things okay so uh, debug modules now it's also supported in windows targets as well so that is also very useful and in the debug module we can have two kind of parameters one is like message where we'll be printing out some content as a you know statement and we can also use var so we can save you know the uh, content as a variable so we'll see all these things how to write in a playbook and i'm sure this is going to be a very useful tutorial for you and we also let's talk about the ansible uh, you know registering values so this is also a very useful and very important uh, topic in ansible so why we have to use register in ansible playbook because register is used to create variables from an output of ansible task for example you are running a task in ansible playbook right it runs on some uh, servers or some machine but you don't know what's the output it so what we can use it we can use register to save those uh, you know, output uh, into the you know as a variable so that can be used later so we can use these register variables in any later task in your same play so what happens is you save those content into some variable and you can use that into the next part of the play so uh, these registered uh, variables are stored in the memory so what does that mean like you cannot use these cache uh, variables to the future play so you have to use these inside the same play so you cannot you know uh, you know save it into the or use it in a call in a different play because this is a cached one in the same play so otherwise you know you have to use uh, some export function and you have to store it into some node or file or something and then you have to call it but in the general case of uh, stored in the memory you cannot use it okay so we'll see all these things how to write in the playbook and we'll see in the demo also so before i get into the actual process i would request like if you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button and also like my video share and comment so let's get started so i'm inside the my ansible uh, machine and you, you know like uh, we all all set up like the host inventory files and all those things so i'm not going to talk about this if you are not uh, sure about how to set up ansible or how to configure those things please uh, check out my previous tutorial in the my ansible playlist you should be able to get all those information and uh, I'm going to start with a simple uh, play. So if you have, if you see this, uh, you know we are uh, having a test servers, uh, you know inventory in the inventory file where I have uh, set up uh, a host machine uh, which will be connecting uh, using this uh, inventory file. Okay, it's not the same machine; it's a different machine. Uh, those who have seen my previous tutorial will know that. And you know, in this uh, task, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give, uh, print the IP address. And uh, how I'm using, I'm going to use the debug module and I'm going to use the parameter message. So message, as I said, it's for printing some uh, content out of, uh, you know, in the screen. So what I'm going to print is like my system IP addresses. And if you know oh, Ansible default IP at address, this is coming from the facts. So uh, this also we spoke like how to use Ansible facts, where you can get a lot of uh, operating system information uh, using the Ansible facts. 
So what I will do is I'll just copy this content and I'll go to this machine and I'll create a file called ansible debug.yml okay and I'm going to install this file there and uh, let me save this and I'm going to run the playbook ansible debug.yml okay Now you can see it has started the uh, gathering facts and now you can see what it has written out of uh, uh, the task printing IP address. You can see this message. My uh, system IP address is this IP address is coming from the facts uh, which we have given inside that play. So uh, basically what this debug module is using uh, doing it like you know for in this play it is uh, putting an output message on the screen. So you can, uh, similar way, you can add some message on each play which you want to show up on the Ansible uh, you know, running screen because usually when you run some command here, it will not show the output uh, on the screen what actually is run on the machine, right? Let's see an, another example of uh, you know, the playbook where I'm going to use both uh, the thing. One is for register, another one is for debug, right? So this tutorial is more about these two uh, main uh, topic. One is for debug module and how to register variable. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a play where I'm going to, you know, executing a sample command. And the command I'm going to use shell module, I'm going to run the uptime. So if I remove this uptime, what will happen is it will not show anything, right? Uh, so you will not get any output out of uh, this command. It will just run on, on the machine, right? and you won't see anything on the screen it will say like it's completed what I'm going to do is I'm going to reg uh, use the register to store into a variable this uh, variable result it can be anything you can give a b c d or you know maybe any name so I'm just going to call it as a result so that you know uh, this is, will be the variable name so if you want to give any different variable name it's no oh, no worries you can use any variable name so the output of this shell uh, you know, uptime command will be stored under result. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the debug module and I'm going to use the same message uh, parameter. I'm going to print uh, the output uh, what is stored in the result. So let's see what this does. Okay, let me just copy this. And uh, let me clear out the screen. I will uh, remove the Ansible debug yaml file and I will create another one the same name uh, it's not don't worry you can use any name as well so since this is a simple tutorial it's easy for me to you know use the same commands so I'm just going to save this and I'll just run the same playbook so if you see I'm running the Ansible playbook and debug.yaml file right so let me run this now you can see it's again gathering the facts now if you see what it does is you know it has executed the sample command actually and uh, you know in the next task printing variable where we have used the message result so it has uh, given the message and this is the content of uh, result so if you see the result has shown like change true uh, uptime is the command which we have run and you know it has given uh, quite some information right start uh, no std out which is uh, you know it has been up for 15 minutes one user and what is the load average right so this is uh, you know one way to get an output which you can uh, store so it, it doesn't matter it's only just not this uptime you can use any command for example if you are uh, doing some changes or you are creating something on some folder any uh, activity which you are doing uh, using a playbook if you think that if you want to store the output of that into you know some variable for a future use in the same play what you can do is you can use register and give a variable name so it will store inside those variable and you can use that let me show you some other example as well okay so let's uh, see the same thing using um, register and debug module for uh, saving some uh, variables and printing out so if you see this uh, sample very uh, you know play so which i am using so it's almost same with you know host task the difference is I'm running a command uh, you know, rather than shell I'm using uh, another module called command and I'm just using echo e 
So echo is usually you know used to print output on the command line, right? So since it's the playbook, you won't see actually what is uh, uh, happening on the command line on that machine. So what I'm going to do is echo hyphen is for because I want to have two lines. So first line would be this is the first line and this would be the second line. That should be the second line, right? So when you run it actually on a machine, uh, this will uh, give you an output actually, you know, first line and second line. Now what I want to do is I want to store uh, that an output into a you know, variable. So I'm using the register and I'm going to store that into result, right? And uh, I'm going to print this uh, variable so you can use as default a uh, message uh, with the uh, no double uh, brackets for uh, the variable result but I'm going to use this other method which is called var so in the debug module you also have an option called var since uh, this is using the already existing template you don't need give the uh, double uh, brackets you can just give the variable name so it will print out the variable name here so let's use this okay so let's use this uh, let me clear out the screen and let me delete that file again and I will recreate it. Okay, so let me save this content over there. And let me save it. Okay, I'm running the Ansible debug.yaml file. Now you can see it has uh, given the sample command it has executed. Now you can see you don't have an output in that play, but in this next play, you can see printing output, you are giving a result so what the result uh, variable is having you are running the echo command in the command line right hyphen e and this is the content of it and uh, these are some information about it right and uh, std out shows this the full command and this is the in the lines the first the first line this is the second line right so this is the another way you can uh, get an output as i said any commands or anything which you're running in playbook if you want to store it into a variable you can use register okay so that will be stored and now using the var or message i'm outputting it now the uh, interesting part is you don't need to get the whole thing because this is a lot of information uh, i just want to get only maybe std out right or maybe std out underscore lines this also we can achieve it let's see let me show you how you can do only just specific part now let me show you another uh, sample uh, ansible playbook right so this part we already seen how to uh, run uh, the echo hyphen e command and it will store in the result variable right now this also we seen like it's printing the content of the result now i'm going to use another play and i just want to print out only the std out so in that case what i'm going to use is i'm going to just call result dot std out right so it, it's uh, telling you know out of the whole result variable i just want the content of only std out uh, another uh, just want to show you like you know using the message I'm going to use this variable like result dot that I what I want is only std out underscore line so uh, you, you are trying to get uh, from the result variable two things one is std out another one is std out uh, underscore lines right so in the message scenario you know you need to give double uh, brackets because this uh, you know a variable which you need to give double brackets whereas in the war since it's using the ninja templates you don't need to give the double brackets as specifically okay so let me just uh, copy this content again and let me go to this machine and i will delete that uh, file again and let me create one and let me put this content let me save it let me run the play so it's uh, executing the command so or uh, you can see the first till this part we already seen in the last command as well right so it's uh, save into result variable and it just prints out whereas you know if you see printing the variable with std out you can see it has given only this part of it right result uh, dot std out this is the this is the first line this is the second line so i just took out of uh, a whole content only just this line now whereas this uh, you know uh, std out dot underscore line what it shows is like it gives only these two lines right so what you can do is when you want to you know gets an output you don't need to give the complete output you can just uh, modify it based on what is the requirement 
so if you know what the you know uh, parameters available here you can use that in order to create the actual output uh, in the debug module so this module is really useful to use with the loop commands and other you know debugging uh, you know uh, commands which we will see it in the upcoming tutorial but i just wanted to show you like how you can use register and debug module in the ansible playbook which will be really useful for you for a lot of scenarios so that is all for this tutorial this is a very basics uh, of ansible tutorial uh, you know uh, which will be helpful for you to learn more uh, how to use it these things in the playbook we'll be seeing more about uh, you know usage of this with the uh, when uh, loop controlling you know uh, you know in this debug modules in different scenarios in the upcoming tutorials but for now i hope this tutorial is informative for you and if you are new to my channel or to watch more tutorial click on the subscribe button and you know thank you for watching